are you waiting for Bip's bus to arrive? Oh, what's the matter, Olette? Is the bus late? Hmm, where could Bip be? Bip! Bip! Wake up! Did you forget you're driving the bus today? Well, you'd better hurry up! Your passengers are waiting! Here comes the bus, guys! Bip's bus has room for eight people. Can you help Bip keep count of his passengers? Here we go. Hoopa's on board. That's one. And Olette makes two. Now Bip has two passengers. All right, on to the next stop, Bip. Here are some more passengers waiting to board the bus. Let's keep counting Bip's passengers. That makes three, four, five, and that's six. Now Bip has six passengers on his bus. So first we had two passengers on the bus. Then four more passengers came on board. And when you add two and four together, you get Six! Let's get back on the road, Bip. Hmm, there's no one waiting to get on at this bus stop, but maybe someone needs to get off. Aha! This is Koopa's stop. He's off to work. Okay, everyone, let's count how many passengers are left now Hoopa has gotten off the bus. There were six passengers on the bus, but one of them got off. Do you know how many people are still on board? Yep, that's right! Five! Now there are five passengers on the bus! Great job! On to the next stop, Bip! There's Moo and her chickens! Hi, Moo! Are you taking the bus to the farmer's market? Uh-oh, Bip! There's a problem! There aren't enough seats for everyone! There's only room for eight passengers! Ah! Looks like Bip has an idea! Awesome! Now Moo can go to the farmer's market with all of her chickens! Now Moo and her chickens are dropped off at the farmer's market. What's her next stop? Uh, Bip? Bip? Hmm, maybe wearing headphones when you're driving isn't a great idea. Ah, watch out, Bip! The traffic lights have turned red! Stop! <laughs> Whew, just in time. You almost drove through the red light. Maybe we should go over the traffic rules, Bip. Okay, let's look at the traffic light colors and go over what they mean. If the light is green, it means you can go. Green, go, vroom. When the light is yellow, it means attention! The light is about to change! Yellow! If the light is red, it means you have to stop! Red, stop! That's right, Toto! Now can you help Bip remember what the traffic light colors mean? Watch out for the traffic lights and shout together with me! Stop when we see red, attention when we see yellow, and when we see green, we shout... Go! That's right! Go! So, what color is this traffic light? Green! Green! That's right, Toto! It's green! And green is for... Go! go! Hey everyone, if you see another traffic light, look at the color and shout with me. Stop, attention, or go! Now, what color is this traffic light? Red! That's right! 
red. And red means... Stop! Well done! Whoa! What was that? Oh no, Ziggy! You didn't stop for the red light! You almost bumped into Moo and her chickens! Didn't you know the red light means... Stop! Okay, Bip. The traffic light has turned green. You can go, Bip. Let's see if we can spot more traffic lights. There's one! What color is that traffic light? Yellow! That's right! Yellow! And that means... Attention! attention. Great job, Bip! Just in time for that zebra crossing! <laughs> we almost didn't see you there, Mr. Zebra! Awesome! Now you remember what all the lights mean perfectly! Where are you off to now? Oh, I get it! You're taking Richie to his chess club! Huh? This isn't the right stop for Richie's chess club. Why have you stopped in the middle of the road, Bip? Oh, I see. It's a traffic jam. All these cars are stuck in traffic. Richie's worried that he'll be late for his chess club. No worries, Richie. We're gonna find out what's blocking the traffic. Hmm, I wonder what it is. It looks like it's something yellow. <laughs> I don't think it's a banana, Toto. Oh, there's poor Moo. She's stuck in traffic, too. Don't worry, we'll get moving soon. <laughs> Hi, Olette. Some traffic jam, huh? <sighs> so that's what's causing this traffic jam. It's Hoopa's bulldozer. Looks like he fell asleep behind the wheel and stopped moving. Hoopa! Hey, Hoopa! Time to wake up! Bip needs something to wake up Hoopa so he can move his bulldozer. Can you help Bip decide what's the best way to wake Hoopa up? Okay, what could we use from the bus to wake him up? We could turn on the headlights? the window wipers. Ouch. Or the bus horn. Or the radio. Which one would be best for the job to wake Hoopa up? The headlights? The window wipers? The bus horn? Or the radio? Uh... Beep, beep! That's right! The horn! Here we go! On the count of three, let's shout toot toot! Can you do that? One, two, three! Beep, beep. Whoa! <laughs> hey there, Hoopa! You're blocking the road with your bulldozer. Could you move it, please? Oh, thanks, Hoopa! All right, the road is open again. Let's go, Bip. Awesome job, Bip. Richie made it on time for his chess club. So, Bip, what's your next stop? Oh, I see. You're taking Olette to her basketball game. So, you're going to the basketball field in Panda City Park. Whoa! What's going on, Bip? Are we there already? Oh, no! The road ahead is being repaired. We can't reach the park this way. Good thinking, Bip. You're going to find a new route. Let's see now. Our bus is here. 
and the Panda City Park is over there. We can't take the street straight ahead, so we need to find a new way to get to the park. Look, Bip, the map is showing you a new direction. Hmm, it looks like first you'll have to cross the bridge. Can you help Bip figure out which way to go? Okay, do we need to go left or right to cross the bridge? Yep, you got it! We need to go right! Another intersection! Let's take a look on the map to see which way we need to go. Aha! Looks like we need to pass the Panda Beach Lighthouse next! Do we need to go left or right to pass the lighthouse? Yep, that's it! We need to turn left! Oh, the map says we'll have to cross the train tracks next! Okay, do we need to go left, right, or straight ahead to cross the train tracks? That's correct! We need to go straight ahead! Oh, hang on! There's a train coming! We'll have to wait until it passes! Let's wave at the passengers! <laughs> Hi there! <laughs> Let's go, Bip! We're nearly there! All we have to do is go through the tunnel and we'll be at the park! Here we go! Whoa, it's really dark! Better turn your lights on, Bip! Yay! Great job, Bip! You got Olette to the park on time for her game! Uh, Olette? Didn't you forget something? You forgot your basketball! <laughs> Have a good game, Olette! Awesome! Can I get a high five? Yay! Okay! <laughs> your bus is empty! You must be almost done for today! Are you heading home? Only one more stop at the Panda City Fair and it's time to head home! Whoa! There are a lot of passengers waiting to go home! <laughs> Come on, Bip! You can't quit yet! Just one more trip and then you can go home! I know what'll make this more fun, Bip! Music! Let's turn on that radio! All aboard Bip's bus, everyone! Time to get rolling! Here we go! Back on the road, a passenger load My friends and faces and places I go It's my bus It's for all of us Stop number one, go and have fun, goodbye Yeah! Oh, we're back on the road, a passenger load Driving through the country and the places I know Stop number two for you! Goodbye! Bye! Riding through Panda City Oh, we sure look good to me The people, they look so friendly Here we are now at stop number three Feels like I'm almost home One more stop to go Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It's gone to E And that E means and shove Phew. What a long day it's been Move that bus Fill it up Right to the top To the top Hurrying up Going to the number four stop Yeah Oh, we're back on the road A passenger load My friends and faces And the places I go It's my bus It's for all Number four, there are no more. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, it's 
been a long day I'm parking my bus I won't complain or make a fuss But I'm going home Yeah! Goodbye! Whew. Wow, Bip! That sure was a long day! You did a great job bringing everyone home safely, Bip! But how are you going to get home? <laughs> Let? Are you waiting for the right time to leave the station? And you're doing a puzzle while you're waiting! Awesome! Hey, what a cool puzzle! Nice work, Olette! It's time to get going, Olette! <laughs> Olette, what's going on? Ah. Hey there, Hoopa. Oh, I see. You haven't finished fixing the track. Ooh. Are you having trouble figuring out which train track pieces come next? <laughs> no worries, Hoopa. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. Can you help Hoopa decide which piece comes next? Let's have a look. Let's see now. The train track has three gaps in it. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Puzzle. We just need to select the right track piece for each gap so Hoopa can connect the tracks together. So for this gap, we can either use a straight piece, a piece that turns left, or a piece that turns right. Which piece does Hoopa need to put down first? Straight. That's right! The straight piece! Uh-oh! Here's the next gap in the track! Now, which piece does Hoopa need to put down to connect the tracks? Oh, you are so smart! Yeah, we need the piece that goes to the left! Okay, there's just one more missing piece of track. Which piece can we use here? <laughs> you got it! We need the piece that goes to the right! Awesome! Now the track is complete and Olette can get the train to the station! On to the next stop! Huh? What's going on, Olette? Why have you stopped the train again? <laughs> Looks like that's gonna take a while. <laughs> See you next time, everyone! Hi there, Mei Mei! Phew, it sure is hot today. Where are you traveling to? The swimming pool! What an awesome way to cool off! Do you know how to get there? Can we take a look at your train route map? Okay, so here we are at Panda Station. And Mei Mei needs to go to Panda Pool. Can you spot Panda Pool Station? That's right! <laughs> it's almost like a puzzle. Can you help us solve it? Let's see. Mei Mei needs to take the red line train for one, two, three stops. At the windmill station, she needs to switch to the blue line train. Then Mei Mei needs to take the blue line train for one, two stops to get to Panda Pool Station. So, all you need to do is follow this train map. Look, Mei Mei, the red train has arrived. <laughs> Better get on board. Okay, Mei Mei, why don't we take one more look at your map to make sure we switch trains at the right station. Ah, oh no, Mimi! Your map! Quick, get it! Aw, oh, oh no, it's gone. Look, 
Mei Mei, Olette has a map. Do you remember the way to the swimming pool? <laughs> no worries, Mei Mei. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. Can you help Mei Mei count the stops to the swimming pool? Let's get counting. We need to stay on the red line for three stops until we get to Windmill Station. Then we need to switch to the blue line. Here we are at the first stop. Oh, here we go. Off again. Here's the second stop. Oh, and this is stop number... Three. That's right, Toto. This is stop number three. The third stop. Time to switch to the blue line, Mei Mei. All right, Mei Mei. This is the blue line, and we need to take it for two stops. Oh, here we are at the first stop. And this is the second stop. Pole, pole. Yes! Here you are, Mei Mei. Panda pool. Have fun at the pool. Huh? The pool is closed. <gasps> Where are you going, Mei Mei? <laughs> of course. You can always go for a swim at the beach. Have an awesome time, Mei Mei. <laughs> everyone! Today, Olette is riding the freight train! Choo-choo! Let's take a look at what she needs to deliver. Hi there, Olette! So, what do you have to deliver today? Let's see. The first cargo load is... A pile of bricks! And the second cargo load is... Melons. Yum, yum. And the last cargo load is... Uh, rubber duckies? <laughs> quack, quack. So who ordered all these things? Ah, so the bricks are for Hoopa. The watermelons are for Richie. And the rubber duckies are for Moo. Awesome. Let's get all this stuff delivered. <laughs> What's the matter, Olette? Uh-oh, that doesn't look good. How will you know who to deliver your cargo to now? <coughs> no worries, Olette. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. Can you help Olette find out who ordered which item? Awesome! First stop, Hoopa's construction site. Can you tell which cargo is meant for Hoopa? The bricks? The watermelons or the rubber duckies? Ducky, ducky. <laughs> well, I'm sure Hoopa would love all those duckies, but they won't help him build a house. Yep, that's right. It's the bricks. All right, that's one happy customer. Here we are at the next stop, Richie's Supermarket. Now, which cargo do you think Richie ordered? The watermelons or the rubber duckies? <laughs> yep, you got it, the watermelons. He must be having a watermelon sale at his supermarket this weekend. Whoops, are you all right, Richie? Another happy customer. Next stop, Moose Farm. Now the only cargo left is all these rubber duckies, so they must be yours. Here you go, Moo. Ducky! What are you going to do with all those rubber duckies, Moo? Huh? You didn't order them. Oh. Well, then who did? 
Looks like your chickens have been doing some shopping, Mill. Hmm, I wonder what else your chickens have ordered. <laughs> Another happy customer, Alette. Bye-bye, Mill. Hi, chicks. Today, Olet's working at the Panda City train station, making sure all the trains leave on time. Choo-choo! <laughs> Let's go see how she's doing! Hi there, Olette! Oh, looks like there's a storm coming. What time is the train leaving, Olette? Clock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> it's five o'clock. Whoa! Oh no! The lightning bolt hit the clock and broke it. Uh, don't worry, Olette. Hoopa can fix anything. Oh, careful there, Hoopa. Uh-oh, the clock isn't showing the right time. Now you won't know when the trains have to leave. You need to reset it. No worries, Olette. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. We'll help you reset the clock. So, what time do we need to reset the clock to? It is six o'clock. Six. We have to reset the clock to six o'clock. Can you help Olette reset the clock? Let's get started. The big hand shows the minutes on the clock. And the small hand shows the hours on the clock. When the big hand points to the number 12 and the small hand points to the number 1, it means it's 1 o'clock. Olette needs to move the small hand around the clock to set it to 6 o'clock. Let's get counting. So, now it's two o'clock. Two. And this is three o'clock. Three. And that's four o'clock. Four. And five o'clock. <laughs> five. And here we are, six o'clock. Six, yay! Great job, guys! The clock's reset to the correct time! The clock's working perfectly again! <laughs> well, it's almost perfect! <laughs> See you next time, Olette! Bye! Can I get a high five? Yay! Okay! <laughs> a beautiful day Olette's on her train Wait to hear the whistle blow and we'll be on our way Oh, the train on the track goes clickety-clack When the signal shows The train on the track goes clickety-clack When the whistle blows It's a beautiful day Olette drives her train Riding through the countryside, everybody wave. Oh, the train on the track goes clickety clack. Give the bell a ring. The train on the track goes clickety clack. When the bell goes ding, ding, ding. Chuck a chuck a chuck a chuck a woo woo. Chuck a chuck a chuck a chuck a woo woo. Clickety clickety clack clack clack. The train sings along the track. Yes, it does. Everyone sitting comfortably? Okay. It's a beautiful day. <gasps> oh, that wakey wake! We're nearly there. Put on those brakes that squeak and squeal. Okay. Oh, the train on the track goes clickety clack. It's been a lovely ride. The 
train on the track goes clickety clack. It's time to say goodbye. Bye. Chaka chaka. Woo woo. <laughs> oh, hey there, Toto. Vroom vroom. Ooh, this looks like fun. The Panda City Race. Do you want to enter the race then, Toto? Yeah! Okay then, we'd better race over there before it starts. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Ready, everyone? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> and we're off. Bip is in the first position, May May is in the second position, Toto in third, Alette in fourth, Ziggy in fifth, and Moo in sixth. Go, guys, go! <laughs> oh, look! Olette was in fourth place, but now she's in sixth, and she's not very happy about it. Ziggy was in fourth place, but now he's in fifth. <laughs> it looks like Ziggy wanted a snack. Position now. <laughs> I guess May May prefers a shiny car to a shiny metal. <laughs> so now May May is in third position, Toto is in second, and Bip is in first. It sure is getting exciting, folks. Bip and Toto are the only two left in the race now. Uh-oh! That's bad news for Bip. Now Bip is in second place, and Toto is in first. Go! Go, go, Toto! Toto, you're going to win the race! Huh? You're going the wrong way, Toto! Aw, Toto is helping Bip to cross the finish line. Okay, let's see our racers in their final positions. Olette is in sixth place. Ziggy is in fifth place. Moo is in fourth. May May in third. Toto in second. And Bip is in first place. Aw. Bips decided to share his first place with Toto. Now they've both won. Yay! What an awesome race that was, guys. Hey there, Toto. That's an awesome train track you've built. What are you looking for? Oh, you're Teddy. I see. You wanted a passenger for your train. <laughs> uh, Toto, I, I don't think that Teddy is going to... Fit. Are you looking for a different passenger, Toto? Choo-choo! Let's go! Uh-oh. The dinosaur didn't fit either. <laughs> oh, what's that for, Toto? Oh, I see. 
You've tied the giraffe to the train. Um, but Toto? Oh, dear. The giraffe didn't fit either. Oh, no. No worries, Toto. I have an idea. Your toys won't fit through the tunnel because they're taller than the tunnel. <laughs> but if you measure how tall the tunnel is, you can pick a toy that's shorter than the tunnel. Yay! But what can you measure the tunnel with? I know! Mm -hmm. You can measure it with one of your feet. Can you help Toto measure how tall the tunnel is? Awesome! Let's get measuring. Let's see. The tunnel is one, two, three turtle feet high. Now all you have to do is find a toy which is shorter than three turtle feet. Let's get measuring. The elephant is one, two, three, four, five feet high. But the tunnel is three feet high. Your elephant is too tall to go through your train tunnel, Toto. Aw, never mind, Toto. What about your rabbit? One, two, three, four. The rabbit is four feet high. Hmm, that's still too high for the tunnel. Huh? Yes, let's measure that mouse. One, two. The mouse is two feet high. That means it's shorter than the tunnel. Your toy mouse yeah. will fit. All <laughs> aboard, let's go. Awesome, Toto. Oh, look! Huh? You're almost the same height as the tunnel, but just a little bit shorter. Uh-oh, huh? Toto. You're not too tall for the tunnel, but it looks like you're too wide. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Mimi! Are you taking the bus to your dance class today? Mimi? Mimi. <laughs> I don't think she can hear us, Toto. Hi there, Bip. <laughs> well, I'm afraid she hasn't noticed you, Bip. <laughs> beep, beep, go. Here we go. Off to Mimi's dance lesson. Awesome! Now we can all enjoy your music, Maymay! Uh-huh! Yeah! Uh, guys, it's nice to see you enjoying the music, but you need to pay attention to the road! Here we are! Maymay's dancing school! You weren't paying attention. You need to keep your eyes on the road, Bip. You better find somewhere you can turn around. Uh-oh. Your bus looks pretty stuck, Bip. How will you get Maymay to her dancing lesson now? No worries, Bip. I've got an idea. I'll go and ask Hooper for help. Hoopa! Hoopa, wake up! Quick, Hoopa, you need to go and help Bip. His bus is stuck in a ditch just outside of town. Awesome! One of these will definitely help get Bip's bus out. Hmm, Hoopa can't decide which one to use. Can you help him decide which of these would be best to pull the bus out of the hole? Let's take a look. Should he use the forklift truck? Or the bulldozer? Or the tow truck? Or the limousine? 
So, should Hoopa use the forklift truck, the bulldozer, the tow truck, or the limo? Yep, you got it! The tow truck! Truck! Hoopa can use its hook and chain to pull the bus out of the ditch! No worries, Bip! Hoopa is on his way! Your bus is back on the road! But where did Mimi go? <laughs> Looks like Mimi prefers to take the limo instead of the bus! See you next time, everyone! Bye bye Hey there, Bip! I see you're driving the number 8 bus today! That's your lucky number, isn't it? Whoa, Bip! That was a pretty big puddle of mud! Uh-oh, Bip! Your bus is so dirty that people don't want to get on it! You'd better get it cleaned up before your next stop! No worries, Bip! Head down to Hoopa's car wash and your bus will be cleaned up in no time! Yay! Car wash, car wash! Hi there, Hoopa! Bip needs to use your car wash to clean his bus. Oh, what's wrong, Hoopa? Can't you remember how to operate the car wash? No worries. Just check the instruction manual. Each button starts a different part of the car wash. The triangle starts the water. The square starts the soap. And the circle starts the brushes. All Hoopa needs to do is push the buttons in the right order. Then Bip's bus will be sparkling clean again. Can you help Hoopa remember the right order for the buttons? Let's go through it one more time. First, he needs to press the triangle. Then the square. Then the circle. And then the triangle again. First, we need water. So, which button do we need to press first? The triangle, square, or the circle? Triangle. That's right! Push it, Hoopa! Now we need to cover the bus in soap. Which button does Hoopa need to press next? Square. That's right! Now we need to scrub off all the mud with the brushes. Okay, so which button was for the brushes? Circle. Push it, Hoopa! Hey, Bip, maybe you should close your wind. No. Oops. There's just one last button Hoopa needs to push to finish cleaning Bip's bus. Do you remember which button Hoopa needs to press? Triangle. Uh, Bip, you might want to close that window now. The water is coming. Awesome job, Hoopa. You've made Bip's bus all clean again. But we might still have a problem. Bip left the window open and, and all the water came inside. No worries, Bip. I'm sure Hoopa has a great machine to help you dry your bus. A hair dryer. Good thinking, Hoopa. Hey there, Bip. Where are you off to today? Oh, I see. You're taking Leo home. Oh, that ice cream looks good, Leo. Huh? What's that? Uh-oh. The bus is almost out of fuel, Bip. You need to get to a gas station fast. Oh, no. It's too late. You're out of fuel, Bip. Too bad 
forget about your ice cream, Leo. But how will you get home now? What do you see, Bip? Looks like good news. It is good news. That's Richie's gas station, and it's just down the road. Hmm, do you think you can push the bus to the station? Let's cheer Bip and Leo on and shout, push! Ready, steady, push! Ha! Yes! You did it! Whoa! Whee! Oh, hey there, Richie. Can you fill up Bip's bus, please? Okay, it's Dr. Panda Toto time. Bip's bus needs 10 liters of fuel to fill it up. Can you help us count the numbers on the pump until it gets to 10? Let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is the tank full already? Nope, the tank needs 10 liters to be full. Keep pumping, Richie. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, the tank is full. Now we just need to go inside and pay for the fuel. <laughs> okay, Richie, how much do we need to pay for the fuel? Great, we need to pay Richie eight panda dollars. Bip has a ten dollar note, but Bip only needs to pay Richie eight. So how many dollars does Richie need to give Bip back? Two. Wow, Toto, you're so smart. Because ten minus eight equals Two! Richie needs to give Bip two dollars back. Good job, guys! And now it's time to drive Leo home! <laughs> Guess you don't need to go home just yet, huh, Leo? Enjoy your ice creams, guys! Hiya, Bip! Aren't you driving the bus today? Uh, you are? Hmm, that's a pretty bad traffic jam. I guess no one's moving right now. <laughs> Looks like your chickens are tired of sitting in their seats, Moo. They want to play. can do to pass the time? We can play I Spy with My Little Eye. Yee-hee, I spy. Hmm? I spy with my little eye. It's a great game to play when you're stuck in traffic. Do you want to play I Spy with My Little Eye with us? Awesome. It's really easy to play. Let me show you. I say, I spy with my little eye something with the color blue. And then you have to guess what that blue thing is. Sky! That's right, Toto. I was looking at the sky. Awesome. <laughs> Let's play. Okay, here we go. I spy with my little eye something red. That's right, Toto. That ball is red. Oops. <laughs> we're moving. Nope, we're stuck again. Moo. No worries, Moo. We can play another game of I Spy. <laughs> I spy with my little eye something green. <laughs> I 
I'm spying something with my little eye very close to me. Toto! <laughs> yes, Toto! It's you! You're something green! Yay! <laughs> hey, look, guys! We're moving again! Uh-oh! Stuck again! Hey, where did Moo go? <laughs> Good thinking, Moo. Sometimes it's better to take a walk. <laughs> no worry, Ziggy. I know a game we can play. Yay, I spy, I spy. Hey there, Hoopa. Have you been tinkering with your Hoopatron again? What does it do now? That looks like a speedometer. It shows you speed. The higher the number, the faster you go. Whoa, your Hoopatrons made that snail super speedy. Can your Hoopatron make things go slower too? I don't think that snail wants to go slowly again, Hoopa. Ooh, look! Pizza delivery! What's the matter, Hoopa? Has it gone cold? No worries, Hoopa! Bip can go and get you a fresh, hot pizza! Hey, Bip! Do you want Hoopa to make you go super fast with his Hoopatron? Okay, here it goes! How are you feeling, Bip? Whoa! Wow, that really was fast! You've got another pizza order! Ziggy wants a pizza! Uh, I would be careful using that speeding machine again, Bip. You don't want to go too fast. Maybe we should follow Bip and make sure he doesn't run into trouble, Hoopa. Watch out, Ziggy! Here comes Bip's pizza delivery! Oh no! Bip can't stop! Hoopa, you and Ziggy can drive after him in Ziggy's car! Follow that pizza! and Ziggy need to reach Bip. Bip's speed is 80. Ziggy is going 50. Who is going faster? Bip, Bip. That's right, Bip! Because 80 is more than 50. So Ziggy needs to drive faster to reach Bip. Step on it, Ziggy! Ziggy's speed went up to 100. Now who's going faster? Ziggy, that's right! Quick, guys! Use Hoopa's Hoopatron to make Bip slow down! Great! I guess you've had enough of being fast for today, huh, Bip? Is it still hot, Ziggy? Just remember that it's best to eat your food slowly. <laughs> hey there, Hoopa! Uh, Hoopa, don't you know it's race day? <gasps> You'd better hurry if you don't want to miss it. Here we go, guys. It's racing time. On your marks, are you ready? Get set. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. Let's go. Watch this dynamo. I'm a speed machine. Watch this engine go, yeah. <laughs> Round the bends with my friends. Uh-oh, I'm getting slow. Look to my left, look to my right. I've got a feeling that something's not right. I've got to think of something fast. What's this one? I'm running last. Whoa! Watching Bip 
when the race was awesome, wasn't it, Toto? Yay! Thanks for helping Hoopa build Bip's race car, guys. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Search for Dr. Panda. Stick around for more Toto Time episodes. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. Yay! <laughs>